Yeah, this is the foundation. Much of the debris downstream, likely caused by mesovortices in the northern eyewall, but just extensive destruction, especially on the east side of Lake Charles out here. Brick structure, completely leveled. Yeah, they're not going to have power for a while around here. They got to replace every one of these poles first, redo the lines. It's going to take weeks. I'm on the east side of Lake Charles now, and numerous structures completely destroyed. In fact, even some foundations that were left behind here on the east side of Lake Charles. And uh, this is on the northern side of the eye wall when mesovortices, tornado-like whirls, were spinning around on the interior of the eye wall and likely contributing to major enhancement of those wind speeds and complete destruction. And this shows you the, da the danger of chasing a hurricane and experiencing a big storm like this in an urban area. Every single piece of debris becomes a dangerous projectile or a missile flying around. Here you can see these foundations out here that even have anchor bolts on the edges of the foundation. And this is likely with a vortex or a whirl embedded within that northern eye wall, really enhancing the wind speeds here. And you can see the structure downstream just a little bit to the east uh, because of the easterly winds in that eye wall here. And uh, this is the hardest hit portion of Lake Charles, just to the east of downtown. Numerous buildings destroyed, power lines blocking the road completely in many directions. And it was hard to see this when this storm came in at night, but once you see it in the light, you really see the power of these storms, and especially a Category 4 hurricane, one of the strongest, most destructive to ever hit this area. Get a picture of me. I got it. Oh, yeah, he's got his mic. I'm here in the heart of Lake Charles with some of the worst damage that we've seen, including towers like this that are snapped right off, even some twisting evident here with that tower going from east to west, laying down. And thankfully, the people downstream of it in this house got incredibly lucky when this happened. And this is likely the result of a mesovortex. So it's east to west. You can see that the tower is lying uh, from the east to the west direction. Uh, this same mesovortex is right in line with the glass building that's in downtown uh, Lake Charles. So it's very likely that those mesovortices in the north side of the eye were just slicing through downtown, causing prolific damage out here. And uh, the damage is catastrophic here in, in Lake Charles. They have got a long road of recovery ahead. There are choppers overhead as well. The National Guard is out here. People are handing out supplies. Uh, a lot of volunteers are in the area that are helping out in the recovery effort. It's incredibly humid out here as well. And feeder bands continue to move through, bringing in some rain across southern Louisiana. And that has hindered the recovery effort just a little bit, especially down in Cameron Parish where there are flash flood warnings earlier. People are now just finally reaching the towns of Cameron and Holly Beach. Uh, some people decided to, to wait it out and it uh, just must have been absolutely terrifying down there. But just incredible damage here across uh, southern Louisiana uh, from this Category 4 storm. One of the biggest to ever hit this region here. And uh, your heart definitely feels for the people here experiencing the dark side that these storms leave behind. 